The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great weekend, great Christmas. We're looking at the Dow uh, at this particular point. I just want to show you the Bitcoin, though. I had uh, I was going to switch charts, but I'll go to the Bitcoin, which is down 1,145 at 42,620. Now, when you think that Bitcoin was once in the 68,000s and then it goes down, to the 19 or 18 thousands, uh, it's done that a number of times where it's gone from very high to pretty low. Uh, this is the deepest correction it's had, certainly in points. So this retracement back to the 42, 45 thousand area, that's very impressive. But you see this rectangle here, this is a sideways rectangle. See the way this it's arching over. So we've got to watch this because look, this is a, this is a macrocosm of this and yeah you've got the Dow look a little mini rectangle um, and the Dow went to 37,641 uh, four sessions ago and now it's trading at 37,455 up 69 still holding very well the, the nine period moving average above the 14 is really strong I mean that is really impressive to break and get this green to turn pink like it did back here going to the October lows You'd have to see the Dow probably at 36,500, uh, over 1,000 points lower, probably at least that for it to just switch to pink. So, so far, that is really bullish. And number two is within the context of the MACD. The MACD is just turning negative as we speak. The a nine period moving average, where did it go? Um, right, right here. The nine, this is the green nine period moving average. Fabulous. Uh, the 37,194 is the key support there. The black 14 period moving average is 36,946. The uh, MACD, as I say, just tilt tilting down fractionally. Uh, it's actually almost unchanged. And then what you get is the stochastic has gone from the 90, uh, what was it, 97%, I believe, now to 83%. So it's starting to decline. No price turn at all so far. And the uh, uh, unbalanced volume is still stuck in this kind of overbought territory. The relative strength, remember I spoke about this and I said, mm. the relative strength, when it goes above the 80% uh, level, it turns pink. It doesn't do that very often. When it goes under 20%, uh, it turns, it also changes color to, to red. Now, what's really important about this is it was signaling that there was internal relative strength. So relative, relative strength shows you that there's been, uh, I would call it an overbought situation. I usually use only the uh, on balance, the blue on balance volume as a real indicator for me as to in overbought and oversold. But the RSI gives you more of a, how can I put it? I, it's it's a li like a look ahead. It doesn't give you a timing aspect to it. Um, when you use it just purely as going over 80%, that is different. When I when I say the stochastic over 80% and holding, that's fantastic. That's what you want to see when you're along. The relative strength index is something I treated. I've, I've always had it in the background. Yeah, I've always studied it. I have uh, usages for it, but I just kind of use it as a, a backup to my unbalanced volume and the relative strength index, uh, sorry, and the stochastic. So this is a hint to say there is still internal strength, but it's starting to wane. Think of it as, um, as you've got the torque from the stochastic, you've got the momentum from the MACD, and the uh, relative strength index is a kind of a look ahead that says, well, you can go a little bit neutral. You've taken your foot off the brake and you're cruising for a little bit. And it's going to tell you whether you're going to hit the, hit the accelerator again to accelerate or whether you're going to keep your foot off the brake and put it on the brake at some point. It's just kind of a heads up to say there's been a change. 
and until it affects the market. When it affects the market, you'll know that because the relative strength will be much, much lower if the uh, stochastic starts to go to 78% and the, the 9 period moving average comes down. I want you to spend just a little time on that. Why? Because I'll tell you what I did. I'll go to all the other indices in a moment. I did it during the update at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. But look at this. Um, CrowdStrike, C-R-W-D. What do you see here? You see this tiny, look, you've had this magnificent move from the 160s, 170 area, screams up 100 points to the 260 area, and then it stalls with the tiniest little doji candle and a huge leg E in the uh, weekly chart. And this is just a warning to say, <clears throat> on a short-term basis, CrowdStrike, fantastic company, cybersecurity, blah, 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 just in the right area at the right time, getting a little bit tired. Look at that. Look at Alta, Alta Beauty. I remember we've followed this for years now. Alta Beauty, was it due? This is a stock that's trading at 472, and the other day it hits uh, the 490s, and it has what? The tiniest little doji candle right at its recovery high. So it says, be a little careful. And now it's pulled back from that level to the, uh, 20 points lower. <clears throat> uh, peak A in the weekly chart. But wait a minute. S, Sentinel. Has this tiny <laughs> little doji candle right there on Friday at its recovery high, Sentinel 1. And it is trading in a leg C in the weekly chart. So it just says, I'm going all, I'm going through literally. Dozens and dozens, hundreds maybe, of charts over the weekend. Uber, great company, doing all the right things in the right area, makes an all-time high <clears throat> by a fraction. 64.05 was the high in February, plunges down to 19. I would call that a bit of a dip. And then it rallies all the way back to where? <clears throat> 63. I don't think it made a new high. Uh, 63.53. Oh, we missed it by what? 60, 62 cents or something like that. Uh, all time high in this big U shaped pattern. Oh, I had this in and then I lost it and I forgot to put it back in. I'll do that right now. Look, if you go to that left side high in the monthly and you go to the exact low right there, <clears throat> right there, that was the low of June of 2022 at 1990. And then you go click, just one little click. And it takes you to one bar early. Look, one bar early. It's one bar late in getting there. Not bad for a U-shaped pattern, right? And what do we have? We have Uber <coughs> with tiny little candies. Look at this digestive phase right here after a spectacular run from the 40 area just in October. And it goes over over 52% uh, 50, or so up. Uh, to this high of 63 point, is that 36? 63.53. That was on the 15th of December. Now it's just stalling. And a lot of these stocks are just kind of taking a breather. Is it a breather for a pullback, a sideways distribution area? Uh, ready to come down? Look at now. Now is um, ServiceNow Inc. Cloud Auto uh, Management, Workflows, IT. It makes it tiny little doji candle, almost an all-time high. Wait a minute, 720.68. I think that was an all-time high. I'll be right back, 707.60. Yeah, how about that? I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so that's um, service now. So it has a round number open at 717, has a high of 720.68, and now it's just kind of stalling. It doesn't mean to say it has to go down. It just says stalling right now. I had a spectacular move. What happens next is very important if... Any time in January, I'd probably say the first uh, two to three weeks, if it closes under 676, um, it's in for uh, a deeper pullback. Now, it doesn't matter how deep at this particular point, because look at the uh, um, long-legged doji in the weekly chart, and it just says that 200-period um, that moving average uh, is way down to 475. It was a great springboard. So that's not even in the cards at this particular point. You have to look at the weekly 9 period moving average of 670 and then 647 for the 14 period moving average. Upside says once you close two out of three bars above the left side uh, V or cup shape formation, uh, that says, hey, be careful because now your upside is not limited anymore. In fact, it's open territory. Uh, so watch that very closely. Now, within that, didn't I just do something? Well, what did I just do here? Left side, right side, price time match. Let me do the same thing here. Didn't I just do that? Well, maybe not. No, I didn't. It was a different chart. So this one here has to go to the doji candle right there. And because it can't go to the low, you can see just visually. Look, in fact, this would have normally have gone to that, that little smaller bar right there. So that would have said that you are taking... Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, and that goes exactly to pink. Right there it is. And that takes you to next month, it takes you to January. So we've already got there in a shorter time frame. Now, normally what I do, I did this a little bit hurriedly. I should have done it in the weekly chart, and then I could have taken the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line right there, and said, okay, that's exactly, oh, that look, look how beautiful that is. And that fits exactly. And it says either this month or next month, it should hit that 707.60 level. So then it just hit it. So, okay, that says it's accomplished everything. But look at this. Look at the monthly chart of now. This is ServiceNow Inc. at 702.78, up five. Um, the MACD is good. Stochastic's flat at 90%. On balance volume's got a long way to go before it's overbought. Look at the weekly chart. Overbought's pulling back. 
Yet all he got was the sideways long-legged doji with a with a containment area. MACD's good. Nine's over the fourteen. Very interesting. I just I could go on and on. I'll do a couple more because it's really important uh, that you you at least get a sense. Of course, when you write something down and you can't even read it. Um, a net. A net. There we go. A net is Arista Networks. Um, made a new all-time high as we're speaking today at 239. Oh, it opens with a round number, 239.00. 240.68 was the highest trading at 237, down 90 cents. Now, is this a G slash C? Is it a G? Is it a G slash C? Uh, what exactly is it? And you don't have to do anything just yet because what you really want is to do the vertical test. Uh, this is trading at 237. So let's go to... Um, this high right here. And look, the MACD was improving, very strong. Stochastic was good, flattening. On balance volume gave a little bit of a, a V-shaped turnaround. Nines over the 14. And now look where we are right at this moment. We, I shouldn't really do this. I should wait for a peak before I do that. But I'm just going to say in preparation that there could be a turn down. Look what we're doing. We're doing just a fractional high above the high of uh, six sessions ago. The MACD is turning just a little bit lower. Stochastic's quite a bit lower at 85%, but still strong. Unbalanced volume is a little bit lower. But that 9 is still over the 14. But it says it's a work in progress and that I, I would not be surprised if Arista Network, and this is part of the XLC, which has had a spectacular move. This is the, um, this is the communication service select sector spider fund. None of the all-time high in the 85s from back in 2021. It, dumped, it, it came down to 45. Now it's trading at 72. And the monthly chart is still pretty strong. Weekly chart is still pretty strong. Leg E, I'm going to call it E. I could call it a brand new B. But this is an E. It looks like a continuation pattern to me. Uh, everything about nine period moving average never went negative. So this is this, this is an A. This is a B. This is a C. And there might be an attempt to go slightly higher to a D. So all of this says... The more work I did over the last week, I'd go all the way through to last uh, Monday, actually. So all week and all of the weekend, long weekend, I've been just looking at charts, looking at charts. We still got our, uh, we still have, even today, we have three or four, uh, at least three uh, positions that we would like to buy. But I'm saying to subscribers, when I start to increase the number of positions on a single day that I want, I always say, uh oh, oh, watch out. You're real close to some kind of a turn down. So tomorrow I'm probably going to lift all the new buys and we'll just have patience to wait something out. It depends on how we close. But I'm looking at this and saying, no matter how I analyze the markets, so much says to me that um, we are very close to at least a digestive phase. Uh, he has a little, he has F and G annuities and life. There's insurance, leg C in the monthly, fabulous chart. Leg E in the weekly, fabulous chart, a little overbought. Look at that on balance volume. And look at the uh, daily. It goes to a tiny little doji candle at an all-time high at 48.14. Uh, Straightening out 45.21, no big deal. He has your dreaded H pattern, lowercase h. They could come down. Uh, but it's in a rectangle formation, just digesting these guys. I could go on and on. I mean, I could go on and on. Net. Look at this. Tiny little doji candle at the most recent high. Peak D, going sideways. Leg E, doji candle in the weekly chart. Only a leg C in cloud fare. It had once upon a time a move to 238. Was it two, uh, 220, 221.54 was the high in November. <coughs> Excuse me, November of 2021 tumbles down uh, to the uh, 3940 level and then and has a good rally. And this just it looks a little overboard to me. It needs a little digestive phase, that's all. Um, I could just go on Rolls Royce, I can go on and on and on. Uh, XP, I mean, just look at this XP. Where did it go? XP investments, including uh, this is a, has private wealth management, pensions, goes to a B. I could call this a G, but right now I think I can call it a B. And it looks to me like the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart once 2757, 
trading at 26.27 right now. Still a little bit of room to go, but it's just fascinating over and over and over all these different charts. Now let's go back here. So what I want you to show you is look in the S&P, the S&P monthly chart has gone to a leg D. That supersedes the previous peak B. It doesn't have to get to 48.18.62. It could fail right here. I don't think it's going to fail right here, but it is already in leg D, as I said, for months, for about two years now. I said, how on earth could we go to a peak B and not go to a C and a D in the Chapman Wave monthly charts? It is rare ever not to go to a D. So we've already gone to a D that is under the previous side. Look at the QQQ. This is already in leg, a brand new leg B. And that just says, to make a peak D, it's an obligation of a Chapman Wave buy mode, which is in should go to at least four higher peaks, peak D. There's only a peak. We can't get a peak D until, well, to 2015. I'll be back. Basil Trapp and Dallas up 109. Uh, and we'll get you some of the magnificent stuff. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So the 10 minute uh, e mini uh, uh, launch of e mini has just gone through a leg D, and that's kind of important. Uh, let's just go on here because I want you to do a couple of things. I wanted to show you that, uh, so the QQs are 41011, uh, 41012. It's very close to uh, the all-time high. What we're looking also is that the IWM, 
um, has broken out of the rectangle, for, or it's attempting, because we have to wait the full month, attempting to break out of the rectangle formation that's gone from a lowercase h. I didn't draw it in, but I think I need to draw it in. It's a repetitive arch formation. And let me go from this here. So here's your first one. Here's your second one. Right there. This is the monthly chart on the right. Um, it's actually one, two, three. This is the fifth one. Look, one, sorry, fourth one. One, two, three. And he has another one which went to a lower low. So a lowercase h in the channel wave methodology is where we're looking at, uh, let me just get there right now, right there, where you can go from our formation, failure to a peak A or a B, and then come down and retest. Maybe not taking out the left side low unless you take it out very sharply. That's the dreaded H. But in this case, if it holds, it can make another arch and then another arch. So sometimes you can do it a few times. Eventually, it either breaks decisively above the arch highs or it breaks below. And that when it goes below, it goes almost a one to one to the downside when it's used up so much distribution sideways. Uh, so this is what we're looking at now. It's gone in a monthly. This is a monthly going on for two years. And it's gone from one arch to the second. That's a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. Then it makes another h, so it's like a little worm. And then it breaks to a slightly lower low. It goes to the 160, uh, um, one or two level. And then it powers up. And this is a brand new gray leg A. But why is it gray? Because the MACD has got away for the month to finish, but it's only just now for the first time. Cross positive. Um, it's the stochastics only at 40%. It's still weak. The unbalanced volume is good, but not great, just good. In the in the monthly chart, very good in the, in the weekly chart. And that just says this is going to be a base of support that could turn. And I'm going to draw this in here as the potential that this sometimes turns into a very a large, deep cup formation, like a deep dish pizza. I like the thin crust myself. Um, so this is it. So if it can close decisively in the 203 to 204 area by the end of the month, remember, stocks, my rule of thumb has always been, if stocks hold very well and come back to the yearly highs or close to the yearly highs, after September smash to the downside, by the last week of October, the first week of um, November, that usually portends a very good close, not, not, not necessarily at the highs, but very close to the highs at the end of the year. We didn't do that this year. We were about a month late. We came at the end of October, beginning of November. That's slightly different to what I normally think of. So this is, for me, a little bit uncharted in the sense that I don't have the history behind me. But I can say that the power of this move says we could have distribution for the next four days going into the end of the year with maybe a slight, maybe two days sell-off Thursday, Friday, or maybe a spike Thursday. But whatever it is, we're going to be close to the highs. So that's number one. Number two is that monthly chart in the Russell 2000, very different to the IWB. That That is already in leg D. It almost looks like the S&P made a peak B at 267.13 back in January 2022, tumbles down under 200, comes right back, and now it's in a leg D. Uh, the high is it's under the 267.13, the high of uh, five days ago, six days ago. Uh, and now what we're looking at is this is a brand new leg D. So it's more mature than the – this is the Russell 1000, not the 2000. Completely different chart formations. You wouldn't have thought so. You would, I would have thought, wow, the 1000 must be weaker than the 2000. I'm not sure why, but that's just kind of why I would be thinking. No. I've been following this for a little while now. Um, so now here's, here's something else that I want you to do quickly uh, before I forget. It's three times I was going to do it and I forgot. And that is the Bitcoin. Look, here's the Bitcoin. Um, sideways, there's this rectangle. It's a very powerful medium. When you look at this pattern that I call, first of all, it starts off as a wide rectangle. And then it goes to, the longer it goes, it becomes more narrow. So look, here, here it is, and just says that it's starting to stall. Stall doesn't mean to say it's failing or anything. It just means it's, it needs a bit of a breather. It's had a huge move up. This is the um, Bitcoin futures continuous contract, all-time high up near 70,000, plummets down under 20,000, 20, comes back again. So I like this. This is an arch formation. This arch formation says it could rally. 
do uh, maybe a peak C or a D very close to just under right on or just above the previous high and then you've got to be careful well it's kind of in the middle and this is the rectangle that I have a whole I have a webinar a couple of webinars even on the rectangle formation and this one says be careful because it's more like the arch formation within a rectangle and that just says it needs very quickly, and I mean quickly, I'm talking about by next week, it needs to get into the 46,000s because if it breaks under 41,800, there's a really good chance that it's going to take a breather and take out the 40,450 low that was made on the 11th of uh, December. All right. The other thing was, the question was, hut, 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 hut. Hut is H-U-T. Oh, man, I used to have this notated. I don't anymore. In fact, we even had it as a trading position once. Hut uh, 8 Corporation Company. This is the Bitcoin area. Look at this. Uh, spectacular move from 8. It doubles to 15.66, almost 16. Uh, um, so I like it very much, but it's going. I think it's going to stall here at the 200-period moving average in the weekly chart. GBTC uh, has... A slightly different pattern. It's more like the Bitcoin itself. And HUT is not like coin at all. The coin itself, look at that coin. It goes from the 200 period moving average as a springboard back at about 78. It's trading at 177 right now, the quickest move. Look at that powerful move in percentage terms. That is huge, almost a 60-60. Uh, it's a double. It's more than a double. Uh, 360. Hey, it's almost, it's almost a triple. That's a fantastic move in October. So um, that's a different chart. So HUT is kind of playing catch up. So in other words, I want you to show you that it's not a leader. It's a follower. And I think at 15.56 right now, up 72 cents, this is a brand new, brand new, brand new. Yes, this is a brand new leg A, peak A, leg B, still leg B. So this is early in its move up, but it could have a bit of a digestive phase. Um, 14 would be 1420 would be very strong support, and I suspect that it's going to go sideways with a couple of little pops. I think the chunk of the move has been done for now, just my eye says it, and that it should bounce a little bit, maybe make a C and then a D. But I suspect that the weekly uh, 15, what did I say it was? 1538? 15, let me check right now. 1523, 1523 level is the magnet of the 200 period moving average. I hope that helps you. What was the question? Oh, the VIX index, VIX. Now, I'm watching this very closely. I, I didn't do any work on this this, this weekend because I have done a lot of work on this for the past couple of weeks. The volatility index has normalized. I, I thought it would take a while, but it didn't take a while. It took forever to normalize, to come back into the 12s, 10s, uh, it hasn't got to the 10s, 11s. And that just says to me that we are ready to start fresh in 2024. And I'll discuss it as soon as I return. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? 
Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, right, so we're back. So I want to talk about the VIX index. That's the volatility index. It's made up of the uh, uh, outside futures that is uh, further out, futures contracts and yield stock exchange. We're looking at 13.57 right now, up 54 cents. So I have to consider that that is an A right there, A, and that is a B with the low, and I forgot to type that in. I was looking at it the other day. I think it was something around 11 something. Yeah, 1181, right? 1181. 1181 takes you to one of the lowest levels it's been at for I think it goes back I don't even think that was low enough now 1142 there it is that takes you all the way back to November of 2019 four years ago um, and I would said it'll take a long time for the north this is the whole thing through the COVID etc and that just changed the whole aspect of the VIX index now it is normalized. Now I can look at it and say, I've got a sense of the structure as it pertains to different candles, different implications that I look at. Look, there's a little doji candle it's called Chapman Wave Sun and uh, Doji. It's the bar after the 11.81 level of December the, was that, 13? December 12th. So December 12th. Um, and th these are all important to me. But most importantly, what I'm looking at is 23. What I'm looking at is this particular purple line right here. Look at it. Whoops. There we go. Look at that purple line. We were down at some point. We were at 10.28. Uh, then all of it, that was back in 2014. At a huge spike, China, U.S. rates. Remember all that stuff that went on um, domestic went through 53.29 August of 2020, uh, 2015, and then it plummeted down to 8.56 right there. That's North Korea, also Trump, Comey. I mean, I've got this all written in here. And all of a sudden, 8.56 back in uh, November of 2017, and then it popped up to 50.30, higher yields. It's always the same thing. Yields, tariff, uh, China, Saudis, wow, that had everything. Oh, impeachment. <laughs> we forgot, right? Um, anyway, that was the low, 8.56, and that was um, November of 2017. That, that's uh, four years ago. What am I doing? Eight years ago. Ah, what am I saying? Six years ago. Now, what we're looking at is this is new. So this purple line here is became, going to become much more important over the next, I would say, six to eight weeks going to early February. And I would not be surprised in this interim period, there is just one sudden pop. And it takes you away from the 12s, the 11s, and it pops you into the 15s and then the 16s. And then there's one sudden move. I don't know if we go over 20 just in this particular time frame. I, I need more work the first week of January to see something else. 
But you see this W formation in the MACD? Well, this W formation very often portends um, the histogram is improving, and you can see that's exactly what's happening here. This is the monthly chart of the VIX index, and the stochastic is way off the lows. And here we are at all-time highs almost in many, some, some indices, all-time highs, other indices very close, and yet you've had this improvement in the technicals, and that's just giving me a hint to say that in some aspects there is there is an overbought situation in a majority of important stocks, and that's going to pay a penalty at some point. And then it could revert back to going down again. But I think we're getting closer and closer to a move in the volatility index, and that says to me that don't ignore the fact. Now, let's just do this. I don't have, unfortunately, don't, the trade session doesn't have New York uh, Stock Exchange anymore for some reason. Well, not for anymore, but for years. So I'm looking, I'm going to have to use, I'll go to, say, a benchmark of WT. WT is Wisdom Tree Exchange Traded Funds. Actually, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go to the VT, which is the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. It made a peak D back at 109.30 in November of 2021, plummeted to a low in, I think... Yeah, that was in October of 2022 at 76.80. And it's now traveling very nicely with an alternate count. Look, G slash C gets an alternate count. G slash G gets an alternate count of G slash C. And finally, you've got your D after a little tiny doji candle uh, on Friday. There it is. There's your D. And a lot of this is saying to me, this is the world Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. It tells me that that weekly chart cannot be ignored as really a leg B. I actually have to call it a peak B because last week had a slightly lower high. Everything about it with the stochastic in 97.08, just at this particular point, I just, I don't see any, I, I don't see any reason to call it a G or anything like that. It looks like a B, it acts like a B. I'll change my mind when this changes it. And it's just saying to me that this whole area from 98 to 102 you could digest all, even 97 to 96. You could go all the way down there and still be in a spectacular weekly chart. I, that's really what I want you to do today, is to talk about those weekly charts that if we close, even this week, if we close even reasonably well, and this is now leg C, I should say, in the weekly chart of VT, the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. I mean, this is this is telling us an incredible story with all the bad news that's out there, um, 109 was the all-time high. Uh, the uh, 85s was the low. Most recently, now it's at 102. It's up 20, it's up, what, 30% or something like 20%. Uh, uh, and it's getting closer and closer to the all-time high. This is the world total Vanguard ETF. That is impressive. I like that. That is really important. So, let me just sum up, and this is really what I want you to do, is that the volatility index, the VIX index, is telling me just on a very near-term basis, just be a little careful here. Um, we're, we're kind of stretched. The elastic rubber band is really stretched quite a bit on the daily chart. Weekly chart, I, I'm not talking about that. I have to wait for more evidence. But at this particular point, that's what I'm looking at. And even more importantly, what I'm looking at is my, my Chapman Wave, Dark is cloud cover. Uh, yeah, there are two world war, not world wars, but major wars going on right now. But I, I can't really put anything just yet, other than to say there's a little hint. I don't even know how to put it in here as a hint, uh, a rectangle. Can I put the rectangle in right now and say, all right, there it is. But it's really not a dark news cloud cover. So let me change the color. Let me get it closer to. There. Oh, that was wrong. Sorry. Let me get it closer to right there. Uh, full color. Let me go to that. There are. So full color. Still looks too bright to me. It needs to be darker. I can't. I, I, really, I don't. The, the interest rates, the yields are at the lower end of the run. The dollar is at the lower end of the run. The um, uh, other factors, there's no 
there's nothing like uh, the political um, conflagrations that are going on that is really impact the market. They might be in the background, but the market is so high. So I think we have to hold on to my color. It'll be too dark. Okay, I'm going to see if I pull it in and say full color. There it is. No, oh, it looks terrible. No, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't see anything. I'll be back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So a question about UNG that's, uh, um, can I say it's natural gas fund? Yeah, it's just kind of stalled now. 
one of the things is that you see this lowercase h that went to a lowercase m. This is, this is that pattern that we're talking about, and it went more than a one to one. It has gone actually not quite to a one to one to the downside. That's on a purely technical basis, but it really is because there must be a glut. It's just that natural gas has been under incredible pressure um, for. Ever. I mean, just remember when I made that peak D at that resistance level that we're talking about way back in 2022 up in the uh, 34, 35 area. And here it is at $4.87. At some point, this is going to become in demand. I think we're getting closer, but don't mess around. I would much rather be buying higher highs. Wow, is that the end of the show? Higher highs and higher lows. So just a cautionary moment here as we need to assess what happens over the next few days. But most importantly, those weekly charts are still very strong. IWM, yes, IWM is definitely playing catch up. That's what my webinar was about the other day. And I'll be back with Tom a little later on. Check out my pre-call, my daily newsletter. Hope to see you this afternoon. Have a good day.